The weather report you see every night comes from calculations done using data from thousands of devices. Barometers, weather balloons, thermometers. In the old days, all of this data was plotted manually to allow meteorologists to spot trends. But systems were slow, and because of the volume of information, not all details could be taken into account. Weather prediction relied on making educated guesses and was prone to errors. Then the Cray supercomputer entered the scene. Because of its immense power and speed, it allowed scientists to analyze more data much more quickly. The Cray made weather predictions much more accurate. Today, with every home PC processor approaching supercomputer power, it's possible to link several ordinary computers together in parallel to obtain more processing power than a Cray supercomputer at a fraction of the price. This is a field called distributed or grid computing, and it's being used in everything from weather prediction to genetics to medical research. Professor Lex Holt of the Witts University School of Computer Science is a specialist in large-scale system configuration. The thing that revolutionized it, I guess, is A, the, uh, the internet, and B, the fact that now even your own humble computer used for word processing is powerful enough to do um, some serious computational work. Now, if distributed computing uses a whole network of dedicated computers all linked together, the internet opens up new opportunities for linking those computers. When you're using your computer for normal tasks like word processing or web browsing, it's barely shifting out of first gear. There's a whole lot of processing power going to waste. Why not let a group of scientists use your machine to help search for extraterrestrial life with a project called SETI at Home? They made their, the program that, that you have to run on your computer uh, easy to run, easy to install, and you can run it as a screensaver. So you can kind of feel that it's not really taking any power away from your computer. From extraterrestrial life to the human body, now that the human genome has been mapped, this blueprint for how the human body works is being used to develop cures for illnesses. But doing the mathematics requires literally billions of calculations. Dr. Fouri Hubert is the head of the Bioinformatics and Computational Biology Unit at the University of Pretoria. What we do here is we use computer techniques to model and analyze biological systems. The amount of data that comes out of a typical genome project can be enormous. Uh, a small bacteria may have something like 2 million characters in its genome that we need to analyze and figure out what they're doing exactly, how they fit together, what they mean. And that's a very small example. Big things like humans and plants may have multiple millions of characters in their genomes. And we often use the same kind of applications to analyze all this data, but it has to be applied to multiple data sets at the same time. This is where parallel computing is of extreme use to biologists, so that we can perform things in hours or days that would have taken months or years to do otherwise. The whole field of bioinformatics is extensively based on open source, and if it wasn't for that, it would crumble within days. Philosophically speaking, why would open source be better in distributed computing? It's better from a security point of view to have code that everyone can look at. The second thing uh, is accessibility. There are large parts of the world, many communities, that uh, simply can't afford the um, software investment required to run most closed source programs. Um, and the third thing is modifiability. The great thing about open source is you can make your own changes. But it's not just super scientists benefiting from distributed computing. In the very near future, when common household objects have computers on board, distributed computing will be used to allow devices to communicate intelligently with each other. Imagine this gadget talking to... This gadget. Talking to this gadget. Talking to this gadget. Talking to this gadget. Talking to all of this.